All right, guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back, and today we're going to be popping open this Emma Frost uh, from Diamond Gallery. I went to pick it up from GameStop today and decided to do an unboxing of it. I have so much better, nicer figures coming up in the future, and so I wanted to uh, kind of practice with this one and sh be able to do those in better, in, in better, better detail, I guess, or, or just do a better video. Uh, so this is kind of the test run on this figure right here. Um, really cool figure. Not really sure how I found it and how I wanted to get it, but I found it. And so I decided to pick it up. Um, I enjoy, I'm not a huge superhero fan, but I do enjoy the X-Men movies. Uh, they're one of my more favorite, uh, movies from, for superheroes. Um, and so I decided to pick this up. It's a pretty cool figure. It's a GameStop exclusive. And so while I was there, I picked up this guy over here, our friend over here, uh, he is from Quake Champions. He was really cheap, so I just decided to to pick him up. Um, so let's get into opening this up. First of all, something pretty cool about this figure is it has this little window on the front. So if you wanted to leave this sealed, you could. Um, it has this cool kind of picture over here. And then obviously a preview of the the figure, which is really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this open. I put all of my figures out on display, and so I do not leave mine sealed. So let's pop it open. So give me one second, I'll get it out of the box, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so we have her out of the box. It's really easy, she comes in one piece. There isn't any extra pieces to her or anything, so it's very nice. Um, I would say she's a little bit, actually she's probably one six scale. So another thing that I've opened up on this channel a while ago is this Asuna figure right here. And she is a one six scale figure. Uh, her base doesn't lift her up any, so if I go ahead and lift her up to be equal height base wise, right there, you can see about one six scale. Uh, not too bad, uh, which is probably the size that, I, I like one four scales and I have a one four Siri and a one fourth Elizabeth from Bioshock coming, but the one six scales are kind of a nice size here. Uh, they're really nice because they're easy to display. They're not too big that they're not displayable and they're not too small that they're like, you know, unnoticeable. So I do really like the 1-6 scales, and this figure is very nice. Uh, it's a very nice quality for what I paid for it. It was $50 at GameStop, um, and so for that price, this is a very nice figure. The Asuna that I have over that I just showed, that was like a $160 figure, I believe. Um, and so this is, you know, obviously not as good of quality as the Asuna, but it is still uh, fairly good quality. So let me go ahead and show you guys some close-ups. We'll do a couple of close-up videos and we'll wrap the video up after that. All the choices you made, did you make them again, 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 again? All the lies that you told, did you believe in them? All right, guys, final wrap up here. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to discuss with this figure that I really liked. Uh, there isn't a whole lot I dislike for a $50 figure. Now, if this was like $100 or $150, I could have some complaints. But for our $50, I don't have many. So first of all, I wanted to go over the fingers here. I'm really happy that they're all, they're not all connected. I have some figures where they connected the fingers. as a, I know why they did it because it's, it's easier and it's, it probably saves time and money to just connect all the fingers. But in a pose like this, it just, I just don't think it would have made a whole lot of sense to have all her fingers connected. And even down here, they did not connect all her fingers. Now her two middle fingers, the uh, ring finger and her middle finger are connected on both, but that's all right. That's kind of, you know, you put, you do a hand motion 
fingers will touch. Um, I'm just happy that they're not all five like stuck together because uh, that that's, I don't know, I don't like that look. Um, one thing that I really like about this is the base. So if you look at the base here, it almost looks like a metal. Uh, it's got really good details, but it's just a resin plastic type of material. Um, it's kind of a hard plastic, uh, but they did a lot of painting and a lot of detail on this base. And so it looks almost like a, it looks like metal. It's really nicely done. I really like it. Another thing on the base that I really like, I know she's not a figure that you can take apart. Like I can't take her off the stand, but what I'm really happy about is more than likely they have a peg in her toe here that inserted into the base uh, in order to hold her there. And then they probably just had it glued or melted together. Um, but you can't see the peg, which I'm really happy about. They do have this little raise here, which is fine. Um, it looks perfectly fine. It doesn't mess with the figure at all. But I'm just happy you can't see the peg. In some of my figures, you can see the peg, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, one, A couple more things here. Um, I wanted to talk about, I like how they have some detail on, I'll go over her arms in a second, but like on her pants here, um, they have like the, you know, when you're in, when you have your pants on and you're moving your legs, the kind of fabric material kind of crunches up. And so they did a great job there. On her arms, they have muscle definition. It's probably kind of hard to see in the video, but you can see like there's her shoulder, there's her bicep and tricep there, and they're kind of, they're defined, which is really nice for, for this figure. They could have just made a straight arm, uh, but it's very nice that they, uh, they put the time and effort in for that. And also what I'm happy about up here with the hair is you can actually see kind of a disconnect. Uh, they could have easily had them just connect and it would have looked fine, but this is another little extra detail that I like is that it's the hair is, you can definitively tell where the hair uh, is laying on top of the body. Another thing I like is that the clothing actually looks like clothing. So some of the figures, if they're cheaper figures, the clothing will be like, so there's like a little lip here on her clothing, which is how like real clothing works. And uh, so you can like tell that she's wearing it. Oh, some figures will have the clothing like be a part of the mold. And so there's not like a defined spot where you're like, 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 you know, that's where the clothing ends, but there's not like a defined line sticking out where like when you put clothes on, obviously you have this defined spot out uh, and they have it on everything here. None of it's one like flat, which is nice. There's not like a flat line that doesn't, I don't know how to explain it better, that doesn't like, uh, it's not just a flat figure where there's no, uh, like the clothes are just part of the figure almost. I don't know how else to explain it than that. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. There's not much else to talk about. Um, what I The one thing that I could complain about is this line right here for the $50 figure. I mean, I, I wish they would. I, I have a feeling it has something to do with when they put it together. There's that line there. But that's pretty much the only complaint I have. Uh, fairly happy with this figure for $50. Uh, it's a really nice figure, in my opinion. Uh, definitely worth it for anybody who... Uh, who has a little has fifty dollars to spend on a collectible like this and uh, is a fan of superheroes or just a fan of the X Men series? Uh, I really like it, and so I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Check back uh, for more unboxings. Um, I'm not sure they'll they'll be sporadic and kind of all over the place, but uh, whenever I get a new figure or something like this, I will unbox it for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.